Karate Combat goes the extra mile and shows a futuristic background with much CGI and spectators dressed as if they were living in the world of Blade Runner. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. A few years ago in 2018, we saw the birth of a new competition system in our martial art. It was called Karate Combat and it was spectacular. In their own words, Karate Combat is the future of combat sports. Merging the ancient art of karate, millions of die-hard fans and practitioners and cutting-edge video production, Karate Combat is the premier karate organization in the world. The concept is pretty simple. You pit two karate fighters against each other and have them fight until one of them is declared the winner. But it's way more than that. You see, the title of this video compares karate to UFC. And when you watch an event in either leagues, the differences are very clear. Where UFC puts their fighters in an octagon cage, making it look like a big budget mixed martial art boxing match, which is fine by the way, Karate Combat goes the extra mile and shows a futuristic background with much CGI and spectators dressed as if they were living in the world of Blade Runner. It's campy as hell, and I love it. I'm not going in too deep into the looks of it, as Jesse Enkamp already did this way better than I ever could. Watch his video after you've watched this one. Instead, I'll tell you exactly what the rules are if you want to compete in a karate combat match, or if you want to watch and know exactly what's going on. See, first of all, Karate Combat is based on the principles of traditional karate combat applications. So we're talking aggressive striking and the use of throws, sweeps, takedowns and some limited ground fighting. Speaking of which, if you like what you see here, a sub would be groundbreaking. While standing, all punching and hand striking techniques with either the closed fist or the rich hand are legal to the front and sides of the face and also the torso above the belt line. Kicking techniques to these same targets, so front and side of the head and torso above the belt line, but also mawashi, so roundhouse, and uramawashi, so hook kicks, to the legs below the knees are also legal. Sweeps, reaps, and throws are legal except for extremely dangerous throws such as suplexes or pile drivers. When one fighter is on the ground, the other one may only attack with legal hand strikes, excluding tetsui or shuto techniques. The fighter that lies on the ground, however, may defend using whatever techniques are legal when standing. The referee does a five count, after which both fighters have to be standing up again. Now for some of the fouls. <clears throat> Any open hand technique that is not shuto, any attack using knee, elbow, forearm or head, kicking the upper leg like I mentioned before, striking or grabbing the throat in any way, striking the spine or the back of the head, any attack using your legs or feet to a grounded opponent, any attack to the groin, grabbing the head in any way, single and double leg takedowns, unless it's after grabbing a kicking leg. Passivity, <clears throat> like avoiding contact, buying time by either not attacking or intentionally dropping the mouthpiece or faking an injury. You know, what you would call acting like a bitch. Biting, spitting, clawing, pinching, twisting the flesh, hair pulling, fish hooking, gouging, putting a finger in any orifice, cut or laceration, small joint manipulation and other dirty tactics applying any foreign substance to the hair or body to gain an advantage. There are more fouls, I'll leave a link down below to the official site, where you can read the whole rule book at your own leisure. Each bout is fought in the karate combat pit fighting arena and lasts for three three minute rounds, with one minute rest periods between the rounds. If the final score is a draw, a fourth and final sudden victory round is fought to determine the winner. If this is also a draw, then the bout will be a draw. Before the bell rings, the fighters have to bow to their opponent. Whenever a fighter is injured by a foul, or when they are finished by a KO or TKO, the uninjured opponent will kneel on the opposite side of the pit, until the opponent is recovered or the referee signals they can stand up. As for scoring, there are three judges that use a 10 points must system. This means they evaluate the performance of each fighter according to the following criteria. Effective aggressiveness, number of effective kicks, effective striking, dominance, damage and control. In that order. Karate Combat has the intention to reflect both a fierce fighting spirit 
and the traditional ethics associated with the code of the warrior. The matches are fast-paced, spectacular displays of dramatic and compelling karate fighting action. This is Karate Combat. So far, I have been able to watch Karate Combat live streaming on YouTube, and as a karate practitioner myself, I can highly recommend it. But is it better than UFC? I'll let you be the judge of that. Have you watched Karate Combat? What is your impression of it? Comment below, let me know. Click the logo to subscribe and click here for more. I'll leave you with a Chuck Norris joke. Chuck Norris's tears cure cancer. Too bad he never cried.